We are drying out though in Chicago, but downstate, a much different story today. Several areas near Champaign got hours of heavy rain, which quickly flooded out entire towns. And that flash flooding has left some homes underwater tonight. Roads in Fort County are impassable. And WGN's Brona Tumulty is here now with the very latest on that. Brona. Good evening, guys. Some wild weather indeed. The rain condemned fast, forcing dozens of people from their homes as several feet of water flooded houses, cars, and roads. I just rented this place and the other day and um, came over here to check on it and I've got three foot of water in my backyard and it's flooding into the house. A newly signed lease meaning nothing to Mother Nature today as she filled Richard March's rental unit with water. It's only happened in about an hour and a half's time and it took to flood my entire backyard. The entire town's flooded. He's not kidding. Several feet of water pouring down, turning what were roads just yesterday into rivers. A ton of rain in a little bit of time. I have no idea how much I was at work and got a call to come home. That call came from Howard Curry's wife telling them the heavens had opened flooding their home. In the house my wife says about three and a half feet. They're gonna get her and the dogs out. He's talking about the rescue boats pulling people and pets <laughs> to higher and drier ground. We live on the top of the apartments on State Street and we were helping our neighbor Alma and her whole place is flooded like the fridge is not down and everything and they told us we had to evacuate on a boat, which is what we did. Many of those boats bring in folks here to the local middle school. I've lived here for 13 years. I've never seen anything like it. Superintendent Jeremy Darnell doing his best to help evacuees, even wading into the water earlier himself. We have apartment complexes that were completely uh, wiped out with water up to my chest uh, when I walked into the apartment uh, trying to help some folks get out. He tells us many of those who've shown up have relatives on hand to help, but at least some people will be waking up here tomorrow before they can get a better look at the damage wrought by the rain. We can help those folks stay dry, warm as we figure out what the next steps are for all these families. Now, speaking via phone with Chief Rosendahl in Gibson City earlier, he says about 100 people were evacuated. About 80 of them will be staying with family members going forward, while the rest will likely be staying at the school. The Red Cross tells us they're also ready to assist as needed. And on a separate note, the drive-in theatre over in Gibson posted on social media tonight that all that water seemingly damaged some of their equipment and destroyed all of their food inventory as well. So they're closed for the foreseeable future, but they did say that they're going to be refunding tickets for everybody that needs it. It's tough. All right. Thanks, Brona.